Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. <laughs> it's actually Sunday today. It's been raining here in Manila for I think about a week uh, already. I mean, more than a week actually. So the road is all wet and uh, very, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I was supposed to say slimy, not slimy. Um, very slippery, not slimy. Anyway, I'm doing a painting tutorial today and I decided to do a giraffe. It's actually my first time to do a giraffe uh, for tutorial purposes. I think I did a giraffe painting back in 2017 when I was still practicing, you know, paint my painting skills and painting style. I was still discovering my painting style. So I painted a giraffe before and I really didn't well i liked it at the time but uh when i looked at it now i feel like i really don't like it <laughs> because you know our preferences change as time goes by anyway so here are the colors oh by the way you can see here uh, because i'm using an old canvas paper that i really didn't like the sketch on it uh so i'm i covered it i did this before the covering the painting over i did that before but uh i was trying to look for a square canvas paper and this is the only canvas paper the square canvas paper that i have so i'm using the the old uh the painted over canvas paper so don't mind all the sketches that you see because we'll be painting over that so yeah here are the colors that i'll be using for the giraffe painting today so i'll be listing them down in the description box below as well so we have primary blue <laughs> I actually painted yesterday night, so I do have a lot of colors already on my palette. But here are the colors that we'll be using just for this tutorial. We have painting uh, primary blue. Um, we have primary blue, black, okay, uh, lemon yellow, titanium white, and yellow ochre. So I did not get my yellow ochre because I still have some fresh yellow ochre on my palette that I used yesterday night. So I'm going to uh, background first my canvas and the background color will be the sky color because, you know, giraffes are, they have long necks and they're almost touching the sky. So the background will be the sky to really uh, give that or to set the setting or to give the setting of the painting, which is a higher place. <laughs> wow, that sounds like... Um, very uh <laughs> serious like a higher place <laughs> anyway i'm gonna background now my canvas paper uh, actually guys i'm so happy this morning i think i should really do a video about where i'm going to uh because i'll be transferring i think i mentioned this in one of my painting videos i mentioned that i'll be transferring to another country it's quite far from here really really far by the way and I think I need to do a separate video for that just to make a formal announcement of how things are going to go. Of course, the same things will be the same. Like, um, I'll be painting still. I'll be doing tutorials still. But it will be a different vibe. And it will be, uh, maybe I'll be painting different things because I'm in a new country. So yeah, let's proceed to the tutorial because I'm talking a lot. So I'm going to get my blue and white so that we create some sky color but this is not the actual color let's add a little bit of black to that so that it's not super light blue because we don't really we don't really want super light blue like everything should be neutral So I'm just using white and blue, just the color of the sky. Remember that this is just the background. I think some of you um, who are my friends on Instagram already know where I'm going. But for those who don't know yet, well, I think I really need to make a separate video for that. Okay. 
and then I'll be using pure white just to add more clouds uh, effect on the background. All right, so the old painting behind it has already been painted over, I think, substantially. So, yeah, anyway, a lot of these areas will be, a lot of this area will be painted over with the color, with the image of the giraffe that we'll be doing. So I think I'll, I'll be needing more white because as, as I told you, I'll be doing some clouds. For the clouds, I'll be using a different brush because um, it will be mixing with my blue and I don't want to use a super wet brush. Okay. I'm going to allow this first to dry a bit. It doesn't have to dry too, I mean, too much. I mean, it doesn't have to dry too dry. <laughs> that makes sense. Or it doesn't have to be too, too dry or super dry. As long as you can do the wet on wet painting, I'm gonna try to paint some clouds. Okay, so I'm gonna use another brush. Hmm. What brush should we use? Okay. All right, so I'll be doing, or I'll be using a damp, damp brush. I'll be dabbing onto my white and start creating some clouds. Remember that this does not really matter too much. So whatever clouds that you come up, come up with, it's all right. Don't uh, think too much because a lot of these areas will be uh, covered with the giraffe. Okay. So I don't want you to go crazy over your clouds behind. It's just the background. The background should not be the star of the painting unless that's your intention. But usually the background only serves as uh, a mood setter. You can make your black a little bit gray if you want so that it's not super duper um, white but you don't want to make uh, an almost um, cloudy almost uh, raining type of clouds we are painting a happy painting here not really uh, a sad mood but of course you can always do that if you want. Okay. You see it's raining again here. You know, sometimes I do love the rain. Uh, especially when I'm painting, because I have more reason to just stay at home. I love staying at home, although I also like going out, especially when I go out alone, going to museums and when I go to the gym. I love that kind of activities. Uh, I seldom hang out with friends. Uh, I don't know if you're like that too, but yeah, I'm like that. <laughs> okay, I think this is cloudy enough. Me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I like it. <laughs> Surprisingly. I mean, this could be a painting itself. I love it. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop right now because I don't want to overdo this cloud thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop okay, right here. Now I'm gonna allow it first to dry a bit so that I can sketch the giraffe that we'll be doing. So my paints dry pretty quickly anyway, so we have to wait just a few minutes or yeah, a few moments and it'll be ready to be painted on. Okay. Good. I'm gonna wash my brush out. While we're waiting for the paint to dry a bit, I'm just gonna wash my brush out. Okay. And for the sketch, I'm just gonna use um, maybe brown because it's very near the color that we'll be using for the giraffe. So I'll be using a relatively pointy brush this just to show you how things are gonna go but you can always use a different brush if you want because this is just a sketch and I use brushes uh, it depends on the comf uh, yeah the, the comfort that it gives me sometimes if I ask my viewers to use a certain type of brush and they're not really comfortable using that you can always use what whatever brush that you want I mean that's even let's say uh you know when i was just starting out um even if the teacher uh, suggests that i use a certain brush uh i don't really follow that instruction if i know that by using another brush i can achieve or i can get the result that i want or what the teacher want I mean teacher meaning online I also did uh, some YouTube I also watched YouTube tutorials when I was just starting out but that's just about it I really did not have any um, university degree for painting it's all about just watching and looking at the paintings of my favorite painters so yeah anyway so I think this is you know ready to be painted on so I'm just gonna get my brown and let's start sketching the subject and even if I'm using a color that is very near the color of the giraffe uh, it will be painted over we don't want any sketch lines remember that I'm not really a fan of retaining the sketch lines especially when we're doing um, natural subjects So I um, think it's a little bit big, but whatever. I'm just going to go with it because I already started it. Okay. All right, just like that. And this will be the mouth. And of course the neck. All right. 
Good. Okay, now I'm gonna get my black and I'm just gonna make some markings right on the ear part. And on this, what is this, horn? I think we can call it horn. But if it's not called uh, horn or horns, please correct me. I haven't really checked. All right, just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to get my brown still. And I'm going to... Hmm. I'm thinking about doing first the markings. Okay. Let us just do it. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of black. You know, yesterday I was doing, or I did, uh, a cheetah painting, and I really enjoy that one. So I'm just using brown and black alternately just to create some patterns on the giraffe that we're doing. I might make some adjustment on the neck. I feel like the neck is quite uh, thin. It should be a little big. Yeah, I'm just going to make some adjustment, just a little. All right, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna make some coloring on the ears. So I'm gonna get some gray. Just use gray. 
I don't know why, I'm just so, so excited to finish this. I'm always like that. Because for me, finishing a painting is gives me a different sense of accomplishment that, um, you know, it's, it's very personal, like a different sense of accomplishment. All right. So that would be the underpainting for the ears. I'm going to wait for that to dry before I proceed to doing a little more detailing. And now let's underpaint the rest of the body. I'll be using a different brush now, a more brush that I can control so that I can really go into the it, the, into the indentations and all, curvatures and all that. So I'm gonna use Burnt Sienna. Sorry, sorry, Burnt Sienna, Yellow Ochre, and what? So I'm just going to have to color. to go I really like you know doing this style I'm more free and if you're asking why I did first the the what they call the the markings on the giraffe's um, body that's because I really want to get that natural marking effect it's up to you you can always do that first But me, it's more enjoyable if I do this. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of hint of yellow. But it will be glazed over with some dark colors later. For now, let's just add a little bit of yellow. underpaint now the face okay I'm gonna get my yellow ochre plus brown right here Just like that and I'm gonna use a different brush 
I'm gonna get my black. I'm gonna make some dark markings. I'm gonna wait for that to dry so that I can glaze it with some black. Okay, I'm gonna use some watered down brown and I'm gonna make some markings on the head. Let's do one eye. Mm, it's really wet. I'm going to make some adjustment. I feel like it's too high. Yeah, it's too high. So I'm going to correct that one. Just wait a second. Okay, okay let's correct this one. Because definitely not uh, correct. I'm going to try to scrape off the eye part because it's pretty wet. So I'm just using white, by the way. 
while waiting for the other eye to to dry okay and i'm gonna get my dark brown let's add some more detail on the map down here all right just like that then more details Right. few markings on the face and I'm gonna darken this marking I don't want to do the second eye <laughs> just yet. Okay, I'm gonna get some yellow ochre. Okay, but with white. Let's go back. Okay, more white. Just detailing.
I'm going to separate this part of the map from the rest of the body by outlining it. Some yellow ochre. And some brown. Oh, nice. We're getting there. It's not yet done, definitely, but um, we're getting there. Okay. Then I'm going to make some markings right on the nose. Now let's do the second eye. Yeah, should be right here. this one. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna go grab my white Okay, and let's outline this. Okay, I'm gonna get my brown, this yellow, yellow ochre.
Maybe some black. some yellow ochre right here you know if you hear an alarm okay because you know our condo building always tests the fire alarm every time and sometimes they do that when I'm painting so don't be alarmed if you hear something a lot of my videos always has the alarm thing So now I'm gonna get some gray. So I'm gonna mix my white and of course black using some gray color. Let's do some graying so that you know our painting becomes more uh, dimensional. Dimensional? I mean, I'm sorry. Let's go back to the ears. Let's just make a few outlines. Gonna darken some areas. And using white, I'm gonna highlight some areas. And also, if you hear some people talking in the background, those are just my neighbors. <laughs> okay, I'll be adding some spots on the head. This is just a combination of yellow ochre and burnt sienna. Just add that, I mean, just add some spots. 
also make sure that there are spots that are darker so that you know it looks more natural let's go to the eyebrows I'm calling it eyebrows even if most likely it's not really called eyebrows but whatever let's just call it eyebrows so that we uh, we kind of know <laughs> what I'm talking about right, and then I'm gonna darken areas near the eyes making it really really dimensional Okay, I'll be using a pointy brush. Darkening the mouth. And then some white. Let's color a little bit right here. Some highlights on the nostrils. I'll be adding some dots of black browns.
Some white. Some markings. Okay, now using some pointy brush, let's create some, oh, it's too much, hairs. Okay, let me check. Good. I'll be using my fan brush to get some more markings. So I'll be using my damp fan brush. I'll be dabbing onto my light brown. And I'm gonna start dabbing ok 
to create really natural patterns on the skin. And then we'll be using black as well, just to create dark markings. Okay, here as well. Okay, while waiting for that to dry. Okay, let's also create some fan brushing right here on the hairs. Okay, now I want to really go back to the background. I will use more white. And using white, I'm going to create more light effect. Especially down here. And up here. The more light, the better. Good. Also, it's time for me to correct some areas. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white glazing right here. To add more light effect. Okay. I'm also cleaning the area. Okay, in the center of the face. don't want to delete you don't want to paint over some areas okay and then using black I'm gonna darken the corners of the face
Okay, a lot of markings. Let me check. Okay, good. I'm gonna get some black. And I'm going to get some light yellow. To give it more highlight. A little bit of highlights on the eye. Okay. And a bit of dark colors on the sides of the face. Too many details, right? And again, some black just to darken the neck, 
the neck part. Right. Oh, I love this one. Oh my God. So just darken this area. Just this area, not the topmost, because we don't want to, we actually want to do some um, dimension. gonna get my white and tap so that we highlight some of the hairs going on on the mouth A little bit of dots like that. And let me clean this area. I just want to have a clean, like clean patterns. Highlight the mouth again. some details very tiny okay wow this is nice this is very nice okay I'm gonna sign this now because I think we're done so I'm gonna use my blue I don't know why I chose blue but I'm just gonna sign right here We're done guys. So I hope you enjoyed that one. That's my first giraffe paint, uh, painting tutorial. I hope you enjoyed that one and I hope to see you in my... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait guys. I'm just going to make some tiny correction because I feel like the nose is a little bit weird. Sorry about that. All right. 
I forgot the nose, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, better late than never. That's it. Okay. So yeah, as I was saying, if you like this video and this is my first giraffe painting tutorial, so let me know in the comment section below if you're painting along with me, if you like this video, if you've painted along with me in the past, and see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.